Okay, we'll wait for another 30 seconds and then we'll get started. Thanks everyone for joining us on time. Without further ado, uh, as and when more of you trickle in, let's just quickly kickstart today's session. Today's webinar primarily is going to be focusing on a very important question that has been accelerated after IIM Ahmedabad's uh, dean had said that uh, the two-year MBA program might become a little obsolete in the uh, coming decade. And that's why we see a lot of these accelerated management programs coming in, like our flagship PGPM one-year program as well. Uh, so today we're going to be having, uh, we have four panelists, and these are none other than students at Soil, both uh, at the uh, the Gurgaon campus, which was our, our uh, first flagship program, as we said, started back in 2008 and was one of its kind, India's uh, one-year accelerated management program called the PGPM program, uh, which tried to ensure that working professionals were able to transition into great corporate leaders, of, of course, uh, with values and, and getting that uh, bent of mind, which encourages them to think. And of course, we uh, very recently, say, say four and a half years ago, started the journey of getting uh, students for the two-year accredited program as well. That was our um, that was our PGDM program. So we've got uh, two students from the PGPM uh, batch and we've got two uh, who are currently doing their PGDM. So both of the, uh, both the uh, sets of students are current students. So we let you all spearhead the conversation. Um, and of course, I request everyone who's attending, any questions that you have, particularly about your decision, please feel free to put it on the Q&A section. And uh, we will be, of course, integrating those questions uh, in the middle of the conversation. So let me just quickly introduce our panelists today. We've got Pratiksha Yadav, uh, my bias towards women. So I'm going to be starting with them. Uh, I think women, it's high time to take their careers very seriously. And we changed the narrative. Uh, three out of 100 women CEOs, those narratives, that's where soil women are always intrepid and trying to figure out a uh, edge in the corporate career or career otherwise. So we've got Pratiksha from the PGPM campus. We've got Rama, um, Rama Virat Jacob, who's also joining us from the PGPM campus. And we've got Parth Thakur and Utsa from the PGDM campus. Uh, so over uh, to all of you to spearhead and just to get a little bit of structure to the conversation, um, uh, let's let's just dig in a little more about the PGPM program. So Pratiksha and uh, Jacob, why don't you start with your experience? Uh, tell us how did you figure out uh, uh, the decision because you know sometimes uh, taking a one-year program versus a conventional two-year program is a very tough call uh, for a lot of aspirants so what was your reason and and it'll be great if we can start with uh, a quick introduction so that our audience uh, knows both of you uh, all right so i'll take it up uh, so my name is Pratiksha Yadav. Uh, I am from the HRLP cohort in the PGPM uh, batch in the Gurgaon campus. Uh, I Prior to coming into soil, I had 36 months of experience. And uh, to answer your question, Nirja, ma'am, I was very sure that I wanted to do a one-year program. Uh, considering I had three years of experience and uh, I did not want to uh, sort of take that time into building a foundation because I had some so, some industry knowledge. So I wanted to do an accelerated uh, program uh, with and this uh, program that I joined just fit right into uh, in terms of everything that I was looking for. Uh, the value system, this sort of education that is uh, provided and it just aligned with my uh, the next substantial step that I wanted to take in my life. And here I am pursuing that six months into the course. That's great. What about you, Jacob? Voice. Yeah, much better now. I think at the beginning when you started, we couldn't, but now we can. Yes. Okay. So, uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Jacob. Uh, I'm from Hyderabad. Uh, so before I actually uh, got into this one year program, uh, the way I actually perceive my career and like Pratiksha already mentioned, uh, I had uh, close to around three years of work experience in uh, digital marketing. And my idea about marketing was 
fundamentally only digital marketing and i had no idea about other aspects of marketing and uh, i wanted to get into a program where you know i learn more about marketing in general but also at the same time like pratiksha mentioned uh, i had that industry knowledge which was required and i wanted to accelerate my career as well so that is when i wanted to get into one year program not to uh, fundamentally focus only on the basics which i uh, which i believe is uh, focused on in the first year of a uh, pg <laughs> dm program so that was my idea of getting into this and uh, just to cut it short uh, for my main idea was to make sure that i take that advantage of the work experience i had but get into the path i want to get into that's great we'll we'll of course be digging in more about your hyderabad and digital marketing and pratiksha's experience as well uh, but i'd also like uh, you know both parth and and uh, would have to also introduce themselves and be great if both of you can also share your journey um, as well yeah ma'am i'll take it up so ma'am i'm from pune my name is parth and yeah i have done my bachelor's in the management industry as well and i've been working as an hr recruiter for 12 months contradicting to pratiksha statement uh, i i was working as a recruiter and i realized that we need some exposure to go in this industry i was very raw at that moment of time then when i realized that let's get into a mba program and i was confused between the one year and a two year program to be very honest but then i thought uh, going for the two year program would be better because you get more exposure there you get to learn about the domain especially i was confused between marketing and hr i was very raw at that moment of time in the six months journey i've learned everything i've learned marketing i've learned um hr have learned operations we have all the subjects in the first year and then we decide in the second year which specialization to go for so we have plenty of time to select our domain and that's why and summer training program is one uh, big plus point of this uh, two years mba program where we get exposure of corporates and that's why i've choose uh, this second two years mba program right utsav I think Utsav is yeah. facing. So the... hi everyone. Go ahead. Oh, no, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So hello. My name is Utsav. Uh, Utsav, I think uh we can't hear. You can all of you hear him? No, no, he's facing some network issues. I guess. no worries um all right uh, now just to start this discussion i i already uh, saw that you know there was a little bit of a intellectual altercation that has started where uh, part pointed out that you know you'd like to differ from pratiksha and that's exactly what happens like a standard typical child is having uh, an aspirant is having uh, a sort of a confusion and di- dilemma whereas one year program like i said at the very beginning uh, a lot of people have said that those kind of rigorous uh, capsules sort of an mba accelerated programs uh, have become the norm because you know you reduce the opportunity cost you're going to be uh, just investing your one years of time and then you start getting back to the workforce uh, so for a lot of people um, it has become uh, imperative like you know they've started thinking about it rather than investing two years of their career but but clearly path you you opted out for the other one uh, so let's just try and understand that uh, was there a dilemma to begin with or were uh, all three of you absolutely clear from the very beginning that no you know we we want to do two year or we want to do one year uh, was this dilemma even there that while you were considering your management studies yeah obviously ma'am i had that dilemma i discussed it with my mentor as well i had an option to continue with my job for a year then go for a to one year mba program or start now get a two year mba program and then get, get into the corporates but yeah Or uh, after all the discussion discussions happened with my mentor and as well, so I thought two year program would be more beneficial for my profile and for my exposure to explore my skill set and to explore more about the MBA world and that's why I gone for the two year MBA program. That's interesting. What about you, Pratiksha and Jacob? yeah so uh, I understand where Parth is coming from. Uh, in a two year program, you are. Uh, for a longer time you are in the system you get to marinate and you sort of absorb everything uh, it it just gives you more time but uh, from my perspective at least for my journey i was absolutely sure that i want to do an executive program in uh, hr only i had prior experience in hr and uh, this was a very well thought of decision and i wanted to catapult into the next 
level of my career so investing 2 years of my time did not make sense to me and uh, this was the right decision for me also uh, having a different perspective on this uh, the world is changing so fast so when you are in the system and you are for 2 years and then you are studying for 2 years by the time you step out out of your mba college a lot of things have changed so there is a thing that you learn in your mba journey and there's also on the field experience that you uh, take up so and uh, of course the return on investment and opportunity cost or all of those things come into play as well so uh, for my personal uh, journey this made more sense to me which is why i opted for the one year program but i also understand parts uh, point of view and i absolutely agree with it absolutely before we hear jacob's point i think pratiksha has made a very relevant point that is going to be your customized decision uh, for someone if a two year program works uh, that's based on their profile based on what they're expecting that that's a beautifully encapsulated pointer which everybody should understand that you know uh, no uh, size fits all and that's something that we really need to recognize everyone is going to be having a different agenda a uh, beautifully encapsulated uh, jacob what about you uh, what do you think about it very different perspective regarding this uh you know i understand the point you know where we come from we talk about the opportunity cost uh we talk about you know this being a more accelerated program a much more focused program as compared to a two year program but the way i saw it initially was very different uh and uh, the kind of uh, you know the work i was doing and uh, i understood that yes this is going to be a lot more you know rigorous as compared to a two year program and essentially am i capable or am i able to take that uh, kind of a schedule so that was more you know uh, my that that was the focus i actually had if i am able to take that uh, schedule and i am able to uh, go on with that i don't have any problem as long as you are able to manage your time as long as you are able to learn essentially you know even though it's a one year program it doesn't mean that we just fo- learning few few topics or something like that we have a lot of things to study and we have a lot of things to learn as well so what i felt is if i am able to do that and if i am able to you know get into the path i want to get into i don't have a problem of you know uh, you know just taking a two year program for the sake of taking it so that that was the whole idea why i chose a one year program compared to two year program that's interesting i think all three of you have actually by and large uh, spoken that particular bit uh, before we go further and dig in a little there is a question that we got on the qna platform and this is regarding um, it's it's of course not specific so i'd want both uh, you know the campus students to actually answer to get into soil what is more important uh, a decent profile or a cat score or overall academics first we'd like to know your perspective uh, so if in case you're guiding somebody how would you like to uh, encapsulate that maybe uh, jacob if you only want to go maybe this time we can change the order cuz cuz i think both parth and uh, pratiksha they've gone first uh, uh profile again is very subjective what i have realized i mean i've been part of half of the journey yet i'm still to learn much but what i've realized is how do you relate your past to what you're going to get into in future that is more important if i say that i have essentially worked in so and so career and i still want to switch my career and i see myself working in this path for next 5 years i need to have an answer for that so that is itself is really important uh, compared to you know just analyzing a profile selectively is what i believe what about you pratiksha and part so i'll go for it uh, to get into that two year program the selection ratio is 1 is to 10 so you i'll be sum it up in a word you need to be unique out of all it's what i'll say you need to be unique your profile is one point your cat score is one point but you need to have that design thinking which uh, soil follows a design thinking approach a unique solution to every problem is what you need to have to get into soil okay so uh, i will talk uh, more on the uh, admission process for the one year pgpm flagship program so uh, there is no uh, cat score that is given that much of a preference since you ca- already come with a certain level of experience i think a holistic view of your profile and your personality is checked we do have a very interesting psychometric test and we also do a life mapping exercise which uh, really made me think back when i was doing it so i do feel uh, 
every candidate is uh, judged and uh, sort of uh, uh, seen as an individual and what their life journey could be at soil and how can this institution uh, sort of uh, help in m m making them reach where they want to be in their life not on just a professional level but on a whole big uh, value based and holistic level so uh, that did not did not only uh, did i see that in the admission process but all through my journey here also so uh, it a lot of uh, individual based learning and assessment is being done at soil at least for the one year program Absolutely. And I think uh, by that, you already answered Ritika Dikari's uh, question as well, that, you know, someone's two years of work experience, but hasn't appeared for CAT. Uh, are they eligible? You've already answered it uh, that, you know, that that's not a criteria. Criteria, but you definitely Ritik, do need a, a one test score. So you can always discuss that with our admissions team as well. Uh, now, moving a little further, uh, like like Pratiksha, let's let's just take uh, this question up because you you said that the life mapping activity, uh, probably you know you you were working for three years plus uh, straight, but uh, but you know when you when you were at that psychometric test, which wanted to acquaint you about your default behavior. Um, and when you were giving this life mapping activity, was it a, a moment of reflection? And you thought that, yes, definitely, this is the time when you would like to dedicate that one year to academics? Uh, or were you like, no, I want to continue for another fourth year uh, when it came to your experience and, and making it like a a four-year commendable career. So what, what was that turning point uh, per se and how did uh, the, the overall selection criteria here at SOIL uh, play any significant role to, you know, furthering your decision? So yeah, absolutely. The uh, sort of exercises that we did uh, while before coming to SOIL were uh, very interesting and it really makes you think and sort of sit sit with yourself to understand why are you making this decision uh, are you comfortable making this decision? And is this the right decision for you? So all those answers will really take you back and make you reflect on those. Uh, uh, when I was giving, uh, when I was going through the entire process, uh, I was a bit sure that I want to do this, but uh, the entire process also made me more aware that what is it that I'm la lacking from a uh, professional point of view, from a theory point of view, and what skills am I missing at this point of time to be in a management position from right here on. So uh, I was sure that this, this is something that I want to do. And uh, the entire admission experience also uh, sort of helped me in realizing that. That's nice. I think, uh, Utsap, can you hear us now? Uh, can you probably, are you back in the conversation? If you are, we'd love to hear your perspective as well on it. Utsap? Okay, I think Utsav is also traveling, by the way, as we speak, he he's at the airport, uh, already uh, jostling and juggling, because I'm sure people would be going back uh, to their respective hometowns for Diwali. Um, there is a question that is posted, and I'd want all three of you to actually ask answer this question. Question, and then we'll get into another point of the discussion. This is by Ankesh. Ankesh is saying he's, he's having seven months of experience in HR and he wants to pursue uh, an MBA in HRM. Uh, uh, they wanted to understand how is the campus placement of the PGPM HR and the PGDM conducted together. Uh, wanted to on also understand that some companies, do they have any minimum eligibility criteria of two years um, uh, per se? And won't it be a problem if you switch to certain companies in the long career? Okay, I think the last point's a little awake, but uh, primarily that's what Ankesh is uh, uh, asking. So up to all three of you, anyone can pick and, and would love to hear all three of you probably commenting on it. I think I'll take it up because I had the same dilemma. I've been working in the same industry for 12 months. So I had this dilemma whether to go for the one year PGPM HR program or to go for the PGDM two years program. So to answer his question, if you want to upscale more skills if you're thinking you've been lacking in some skills you need to spend more time about upon the domain knowledge if you think you are more capable enough you can go for the one year uh, pgpm program or else you think if, if you think you need more domain knowledge or you need more time in the management uh, school you need to go for the two-year mba program but yeah for a seven months of experience according to me two-year program is a bit relevant because you get more time in the management school you get more time ex uh, leading to whatever domain knowledge you're focusing on and that's it Pratiksha if you want to add something 
um yeah so uh, in my batch we also have uh, some freshers who are just right out of their graduation and uh, they are doing well i think we get to hear a lot of fresh perspectives from their end that uh, we might uh, bring from uh, we we sort of get tangled into an experience and we bring, bring that perspective and the freshers bring a whole new perspective to a problem statement and that's that's quite refreshing to sort of hear and understand their point of view so we do have freshers in pgpm one year batch as well as far as the placements go i think it happens simultaneously for both the campuses if any organization is coming then students from both the campuses are allowed to sit in that some organizations do have a prior uh, Uh, criteria that they want uh, people from a certain cohort or people with certain years of experience but uh, i do uh, i don't think for the most part uh, students from both the campuses participate uh, in the placement process that's great what about you jaykal uh, so i see that at the end part of the question uh, no it is mentioned whether some companies have a minimum eligibility criteria of 2 years for mba uh, i think it is very subjective it may be or it may not be depends completely on the company but like pratiksha mentioned there are people who have uh, i mean freshers basically who have taken part of the one year program as well it completely depends on what exactly you want and like i really mentioned earlier as well if you think that you have the capability of or if you think this kind of a program is suitable enough for you uh, i would suggest you to go for it if you want a complete holistic view and complete understanding of the subject in general i would suggest you to go for a two year program right that's interesting and and to just uh, cumulatively sum up what all three of you said and and of course particularly what uh, you know both jacob and patiksha said uh, that pgpm hr is actually a program where you don't really require any experience so even if you uh, technically did not have experience you were eligible to apply for it uh, in comparison to the the human uh, the the usual uh, pgpm flagship program that we have in which experience is required uh, now just uh, looking at of course i i don't know uh, a lot about patiksha but i know that uh, that you know jacob you said you were from hyderabad parth is from pune utsav is of course uh, mia right now in the webinar but he's also uh, from bengaluru he was from christ uh, so all of you when you would you you were figuring out this decision so when when we're looking at the pgpm campus this is at the heart uh, of gurgaon which is actually in considered to be you know again another millennial city giving uh, you know a tough uh, uh, competition to bengaluru which is of course the silicon valley of india so to say um, so what was that decision uh, like uh, how how did you decide that okay you want to probably or or the manisar campus also which is uh, the new gurgaon area that we are having so how did you people figure out that you know uh, gurgaon or ncr was the region where you wanted to be uh, was it a tough call were you not looking at colleges close by Pratiksha, maybe we can start with you, and you can let me know about your uh, background as well, because uh, we didn't really hear that particular part from you. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting. Uh, I uh, was a lawyer. Uh, uh, I studied to be a lawyer, and then I practiced law for two years as well. and then in the since i have 3 years of experience my uh, in my second stint uh, i was fortunate enough to be part of the legal and people and culture team so here i got the taste of human resources and uh, then came the realization that this is something i want to do and uh, in my last organization i was the hr manager for an agritech startup and uh, one year i did that uh, which is where uh, i also felt the need that you cannot hit and miss about everything you need to have some sort of professional studies and uh, knowledge about things and how you want to go about it so for me i was very fortunate that i am from gurgaon i've been living here for the past 5 years and my campus is also in gurgaon so that worked out very well for me uh, but uh, i think jacob and people who have moved to delhi ncr will have more to add on to this yes uh, actually for me it was completely new altogether uh, but uh, i am a person who once i made a decision of coming here you know i didn't really uh, you know understand that i have completely moved to a different city altogether uh, so the first three months where i was just trying to understand what's happening around me to be very honest but uh, once i got used to it everything went well so that that is all i can actually say about that 
but you won't ha really have any problem. I, I can actually guarantee that. So, so <laughs> did uh, NCR treat you well, Jacob, uh, to ask bluntly? Or... Uh, to be very honest, like, uh, you know, th people say a few things that, you know, people might be, but then uh, for me, like most of the people I've met have been really good. Like they have been very humble. They've been really nice to me. That's nice. You're being very kind. Yeah. What about yeah, Parth? Completely agreed with uh, Jacob's point. I've been uh, I'm from Pune. Location was never a constraint for me. But looking from my HR background, Anil sir, as the father of HR, I bought HR consultancy to India. Soil was one of the best options for me. And we yeah, have first uh, two to three months were difficult in the north, northern side of India. It was the first time I was moving out of uh, Pune. But yeah, it's been a great experience. Yeah, the weather is awesome here nowadays. It's cold. Yeah. All right. One of uh, the other fundamental concern that mostly aspirants have uh, is is also regarding the kind of knowledge and the skill sets uh, that they can develop. Now, uh, let's let's look at first the one year accelerated PGPM program that we have, which is the flagship program. Uh, a lot of you, uh, a majority of you, have actually taken analytics, right? Uh, so help us understand that uh, what is the rigor like, um, especially when we we're, we're talking about the PGPM program. We've got fifty percent and above of our faculties uh, who come and teach you. They're all practitioners. Uh, they they're all trying to not just share a bookish uh, knowledge, but they're also trying to make sure that you know they they share their real life stories, how they uh, brought the products, how they developed the go to market strategy, or or how they made sure that the products were successful or the services were successful. Um, so help us understand that how does a typical day look like for uh, you know you? So we we'll start with uh, both Jacob and Pratiksha first, and then we can always know parts perspective as well that you know how does a typical day uh, of an SOBD student uh, looks like so first uh, you know to you Jacob and uh, Pratiksha how does a typical day look like do you have uh, I, I I hear uh, whenever I meet you there are a lot of deliverables rather once I remember you you people managed to get your CDS uh, shortened uh, because you know you had uh, a packed schedule and submissions and deadlines so tell us about you know uh, how does a typical day look like for uh, for you at the PGPM campus Should I go first or should I? Whatever you prefer, Jacob. I think you can so, go first. Yeah. Uh, a typical day, I would say that, you know, uh, be prepared for a lot of presentations. Uh, that is the first thing I would say. Uh, apart from that, yes, uh, you know, you will be having a lot of classes going on. Also, at the same time, you'll have assignments. And also, at the same time, you'll, you must be prepared for exams coming, like, very soon. You know, by the time you learn things, and by the time you understand the particular concept, you might have an exam coming up. And then, of course, at the same time, you must be focused on placements as well. So there's a lot of things going on at once. But on a, on a particular day, if, if you just ask me, I would say that you'll have a lot of days where you'll be giving a lot of presentations and also preparing uh, subjects. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So when they say that this is an accelerated accelerated program, it is an accelerated program. You will, I don't want to like sound, uh, I don't want to like scare anyone about this, but it it just goes like the wind. And every day you're preparing for something or the other, like no day is similar in this campus. So you start off at 8.50 and then your day like stretches till 6, 6.30. And then again, you're going back home and preparing for the presentations next day. And as Jacob mentioned, like everything is just so packed. Uh, you have uh, like the visiting faculties are coming. So you have to like keep abreast with everything that they are teaching. And then you have presentations for all these uh, subjects that are happening simultaneously. And then as soon as the subjects are over, you, are, you have that exam. And uh, the CMS activities also, Nija, I'm, I'm sure that you will also be, uh, you will also participate in this conversation because you've also taken so many sessions for us. And then we are like, okay, ma'am, can we just shorten it a little bit? We have, we have to go back home and then this is pending, that is pending. So yeah, that does happen, but it's also very exciting. Like, uh, I think in the initial three months, you sort of struggle because you're also coming back from your office culture, but then you start enjoying that process. 
and i've seen people change here drastically like people who were so afraid of going forward and speaking in front of a crowd and now just at the back of the call they can get up and present on any topic so all that happens because you have put through that rigorous a uh, process uh, but yeah you you do start enjoying it as well that's lovely what about you part see i agreed with pratiksha and jacob's point a lot of presentation a lot of case studies you need to prepare a lot and soil follows a trimester format so as soon as you finish a concept you'll get an exam you'll get an exam schedule and you'll have to be prepared for that till now being a two year mba program there are summer internships on Head. so you'll have to prepare for the same uh, need to attend all the cds sessions yeah that's it the same point uh, i would agree with uh, pratiksha and jacob a lot of presentation and case studies that's interesting i i, I think one point uh, th that's been highlighted uh, that you know the journey just goes uh, like a wind pratiksha beautifully summarized that right you don't come to know whether it's a one year program or a two year program i think uh, with the learning and the hustle you obviously completely uh, don't even realize that uh, how the the journey is just about to come to an end uh, now there's a very interesting question which has been asked on the q and a section uh, and i i think uh, pratiksha has already answered this though uh, when she said that you know the freshers bring a unique perspective to the classroom discussion so contrary to the opinion that you know uh, that freshers won't really always uh, be getting uh, you know the, the the better piece uh, of the cake that that's not the case technically over here at all uh, but but still would like to hear because you know this says that as a fresh graduate uh, you know the the candidate is concerned about the ability to keep up with colleagues uh, who are having work experience uh, so what do you think uh, is is that true that people who are freshers they don't really have i'm, I'm sure for all of you across right uh, for the pgdm or the pgpm you see these freshers in your classroom discussions and they also uh, make those really important uh, pointers and perspective but overall what has been the experience like uh, can you share because all three of you typically have experience but uh, uh, in case if you you're looking at your freshers friends uh, who are uh, with you as colleagues so what do you think about that do you think they have fomo of you people being a little ahead of the curve or do you think that they they compete with you or rather they challenge you um furthermore so in no particular order i think anyone can start and and then we can have all three of you present your opinion uh, i will like to answer that question please go uh, ahead to be very honest uh, when i was about to join soil i thought initially i'll be part of a pgdm program because i'll you know make use of my experience and then you know i'll be ahead of a lot of people there but to be very honest the answer to that is that <coughs> that when companies are coming they're looking for a particular kind of a candidate now that can be a fresher and that can be an experienced person as well so i'm sure that you know a lot of people who are freshers in my batch got shortlisted and a lot of people who had experience of 6 years and 7 years they didn't get shortlisted for a particular company as well so it completely depends on what the company is looking for i think that would be the right way to put it forward what about you pratiksha parth yeah so i'll take it ahead i when i initially joined uh, sobd i thought i would have i will have an edge over everyone because i have been into recruitment i've done recruitment but here it's nothing like that freshers are more dominating they have more intellectual they are more participating in all the classes and they are so confident uh, this was totally unexpected so it's all upon you it's all your choice whether to go for the one year uh, program or a two year program it's all upon you you if you want if you are okay to spend more time you'll get a more exposure but if you are very confident that you have skills and you will be able to connect with everyone uh, in the pgpm campus for with the experienced people will have will definitely go for it yeah adding on to what uh, parth said i also have felt that uh, the freshers in our batch they're more excited and they're more energetic about uh, things beat any uh, uh, event that is happening in the campus or in the class itself uh, i also feel that they have so much more opportunity to learn from a one year program or like sitting uh, in the uh, pgdm batch also from not just the faculties who are coming what is being taught but also from the batch itself so uh, the cumulative experience of the class will be more than like 
50 60 years if everyone is carrying an experience of 2 plus years so they also have the opportunity to learn so much from each other and uh, that i take uh, it's a huge uh, sort of giveaway for them so i don't think that there is any uh, discrimination or any hesitance in our batch because everyone is going through the same process it's just your enthusiasm and your zeal to study more and just that learning that you want to derive from this uh, experience absolutely uh, as we go ahead and take uh, the answers i urge all three of you to also share your linkedin details over the chat box so that you know the questions are of course coming thick and fast but even uh, when we conclude uh, the webinar in some time you can uh, definitely uh, connect to all three of them rather it'll be great if you can share Utsav's details as well so that people can be in touch with you over LinkedIn. Uh, now there's an interesting question by Ankesh uh, and he's asking that uh, what are the prerequisites if you're doing a PGPM HR program what are the skill sets that you can actually uh, get started with so that you can compensate I think Ankesh you're, you're stressing a lot child about your uh, your overall uh, um, seven months experience is not that bad but but okay uh, so he says that you know he has seven months of experience um, and he wants to make sure that you know he can compete with students uh, with two to three years of work experience uh, so so how would uh, how can somebody be prepared then for the PGPM HR Pratiksha would you like to address this first Well, as I mentioned, I don't think your experience and what I have really seen is your attitude once you enter this college is what matters a lot. So we do have a lot of pressures here and I necessarily do not see that as a bad thing. They, they You just have to be more enthusiastic and excited about just doing the program. They are given ample amount of opportunities uh, everywhere. I don't think there is uh, any uh, sort of disparity that they're given less opportunities in shortlisting or uh, in the placement. So uh, I do not, I just, I, I, I know that I'm sounding repetitive, but I just don't know what more to add to this because there is no difference when you step inside the campus in the experienced person and, the pers and a person who is a fresher. Yes. What about both of you? Completely agreed to Pratiksha's point. I think we've addressed this a lot. No difference. It's completely a person's choice and it's all, all upon them. What are they thinking? What are they, what is their mindset? And are they, are they capable enough to cope up with them? Why uh, cope up with the one year program? It's just the rigor in them. Jacob, any, anything that you'd like to add? Exactly my point. I don't think there's anything else to add on to that. Nothing. Um, why don't we start with you only now? Devraj is asking, uh, what are the average placements typically that look like? Uh, which are the companies that come to visit? Uh, what is the lowest package? Uh, like a hygiene is basically 8.5. But again, uh, just, just addressing, you know, and hearing your opinion and your view, uh, viewpoint, because obviously return on investment becomes a really important consideration for any candidate. So Jacob, let's have your opinion. Uh, uh, starting the lowest package, like you really mentioned, I haven't seen any company coming for less than 8.5. Uh, the average package, uh, again, it depends on the how many companies are about to come as well. But uh, I think it has been at least around 10 to 11. That has been the range uh, in the average package. Regarding the list of companies coming and all of that, I think Pratiksha would be the right person to you know guide us on that. She's part of the PleaseCom team as well. And Jacob is part of my buddy group as well. Yeah. So yeah, we will be doing a lot of preparations together. So yeah, as Nija ma'am mentioned, we do have a hygiene check. We uh, do not have any companies that come below 8.5 lakhs. So that is the most basic thing that we uh, at least check right before a company enters the campus. Uh, the, we are in uh, the process of uh, the placement process right now. And uh, as Jacob mentioned, the average package for the people who have got placed till now is between uh, 10.5 to 11.5. Uh, but we'll have more companies coming in the future. The companies that have already come, some to name a few, we have had MCure, Accenture, uh, Mavericks, and then we had uh, First Source, uh, just the top of my head, if I can recall a few of them. So these are the companies. Uh, we also had Access Bank. Uh, 
Yes, Aditya Birla was also there. Yes, right. So yeah, those were the companies that have already. And also Infosys and Connect as well. Yes, right. And more so, companies are about to come. Yeah, for the two-year program as well. Uh, I'm also part of the placement committee, and I've been doing outreach. The hygiene basic check we do is a the lowest package of 8.5, and the average also, as Pratiksha rightly mentioned, it goes around 11, 10.5 to 11 for the two-year program as well. And yeah, the companies are aligned. Intellect Design are is our one of the partners will be coming onto the campus. We have Federal Bank. We have uh, uh, we had Excess Bank, I guess, uh, doing bulk of the hiring from our campus. Yeah, and. Aditya Birla Group, uh, Aditya Birla Capital was one of the companies. And and as we speak, uh, would Pratiksha and Jacob, would you like to also share your Maverick experience? Because technically, uh, you both are placed. And and Jacob, I'd also uh, love to hear, because, you know, uh, before your Mavericks offer, uh, Parth, of course, is not uh, sitting for placements this year because he's a first-year student. Uh, so hopefully, Parth gives us a good news next year very soon. Uh, but Jacob, help us understand. I came to know that you have your twin brother as well. So what was that uh, decision-making like? Was it like the family needs to go together or... Um, or, or, or what was that decision making process like and both of you please share your maverick experience as well because it was a very competitive role and you had a senior uh, a soil senior alum only coming who was heading the HR operations there uh, so tell us a little bit because you know now that Debraj has asked a question related to placements and both of you have an offer in your hand uh, so it'd be great if you can share your experiences of maverick I'd like to answer the first part of the question, actually. So, like you mentioned, actually, I didn't plan this, that I'll be part of a one-year program and all of that. Uh, so, my brother was the first person who got the admission in soil. And uh, I remember it was uh, in the last month of, I mean, it was in the last week of April, if I'm not really wrong. Uh, and uh, Joshua got into it. And, you know, we both have studied together all our lives. And, uh, and he told me, why don't you apply in this college and see what happens? And then I... I haven't considered it that seriously at that point. But once I started getting into the admission and process and all of that, uh, and once I actually got the offer and then I took that seriously and it, it happened to be in a way where, you know, I was talking to uh, Joshua the other day that uh, all our lives we've studied together and I thought that this time we both will be in separate sections. But uh, again, uh, actually we both studied in the same section only. <laughs> so we've actually studied together all our lives. Um, Talking about my placement experience, uh, I'll talk about the journey before that. Uh, I think I've applied in three to four companies before that. And uh, unfortunately, what happened uh, was that I didn't get shortlisted. And uh, I remember I, I was talking to Pratiksha, uh, my police company, and I talk, I spoke to <laughs> a few others as well. That Why am I not getting shortlisted? Is there something I need to do with my resume? Uh, how do I make sure that I get shortlisted? But one thing I had in my mind is that uh, when I got shortlisted for Maverick and... Uh, if I actually remember, a lot of people applied in that, but 17 people got shortlisted for my profile. And uh, I kept it very simple. I just wanted to go there and just speak. But the moment I got shortlisted for the second round, uh, I think three people got shortlisted for the second round. And uh, I think Joshua was also part of that. So my brother was also part of that. And uh, I, I remember telling him that <laughs> one of us is getting it. Uh, I, and I just, I just remember telling him that. The interview was, I must say, a lot technical. Uh, he wanted to know how much do I understand about tech in general? How much do I understand about banking? And you know, what is really interesting is that I didn't really have all of that. And the understanding I had was about marketing in general and the process I worked in. And uh, I was very honest about uh, that in the interview. And I think that is something which really worked out well for me that I got pleased as compared to other candidates who I think had experience which was more lot more suitable as compared to me i think jacob likes to keep it very humble no pratiksha you've been his uh, mentor uh, in the biscom meeting so i think he that's that's his usp great pratiksha what about you yeah, so we call them the JJ brothers and they still prank us. Like they're identical twins and we'll go for, oh, is, are you Joshua? I was like, yeah, I'm Joshua. They still prank the entire batch. So uh, yeah, uh, talking about my Maverick interview experience, uh, uh, it was uh, the entire interview experience actually. For me, I, me and jo uh, Jacob were applying for different roles. Uh, but the experience was... Uh, 
I think it it they really wanted to see how quickly can we think on our feet, and uh, also uh, they gave us business problems. So for me, it was nothing related to the course structure or the books or the modules that I have uh, studied in class. They just gave me a business problem, and then they were probing questions around that. And the interview went on for like fifty minutes, and they just wanted to see your approach to solving that problem. so the conversation mainly happened around that and uh, as jacob mentioned i was also very honest in my interview if there was something that i did not know i just uh, told them that i am not very well versed with this concept but i would love to learn more about this so i was not trying to be uh, sort of french uh, i was also very honest i uh, took them i answered them and that thing I was very honest that I don't know them. So yeah, I think that is. And and I must confess, like I, I we haven't really had a lot of encounters, Pratiksha individually. But Pratiksha is a person who has a lot of clarity of thought. Uh, she wouldn't really uh means and and this I I mean it as a compliment to your child. Uh, she she's wonderfully. be equipped when it comes to you know uh, knowing certain things and and we know i even hear from pratik like you know if a task is given to you or nancy also for that matter if a task is given to you we know that uh, even if we forget you're definitely going to be capturing it and giving it full course so uh, that that's the you know the, the way that we we know you and that's how you have developed your brand so because that clarity of thought and just like you said there wasn't a bookish case but it was a real life business case and you were able to show that uh, those skill sets of clarity of thought and this is what they wanted to appreciate um uh, part you uh, we we'd love to know from your end as well because you are also part just like pratiksha is a place comma uh, you're also having uh, you know you're, you're also playing the role of a place comma which particularly we can say in a layman's term like an hrbp uh, you, you know because you're having your place com buddies uh, so how is your overall experience like in that regard Uh, during my place com journey in the first six months, it's been very smooth. As of now, I've been, I've been, I've been in part of the outreach team. I've been outreaching to companies, and I've been to BGPM campus as well for this Genpack process. Uh, it's been great. I've done recruitment, is and it's the same as recruitment what we were doing. We are outreaching to companies. We are handling interviews. We are contacting HRs. And about the place com buddies, I'll. Uh, i'm help, helping them in the most possible ways like i've been discovering them a lot of courses giving them a lot of options about different courses multiple internships and i'm currently were currently doing my internship as well uh, in circle so yeah so I've, as an hr recruiter as uh, the same profile so i've been helping them getting internships i've been helping them in all the cds sessions i've been in contact with you as well neeja ma'am continuously So yeah, it's been a great journey as of now, and hope to be the same throughout. Great. Before we wrap up, there's a question by Arindam. Uh, Arindam is saying, "What should I focus on during my interview preparation to meet the specific expectations and requirements of Soil Institute's interview process? And what areas should I concentrate on in my preparation to align with the needs uh, and definitely, you know, be uh, one among all of you next year?" Uh, so, so Arindam's question. Uh, it'll be great if um, three of you can take up. I'll take it up first. As Pratiksha mentioned, you'll have to be first honest. of whatever it is you'll have to be yourself you but at the same time you'll have to be unique as i already mentioned in the pgdm program the ratio is 1 is to 10 so you'll have to be unique you'll have to have some different uh, skill set or uh, something out of the box like you'll have to have some quality which others don't have in their profile and you'll have to be unique you'll have to approach to a problem differently than others and i think pratiksha if you want to add something yeah so uh, i think uh, a clarity of thought uh, your uh, the your approach to a problem statement if given uh, your articulation uh, that you are able to justify whatever you want to say and whatever reason you have decided uh, for your uh, problem or your answer and uh, thirdly i think being well versed with the current happenings around the world and specifically business news really helps you so uh, my in my interview admission interview process uh, there were a lot of questions around what was happening in the business scenario right now so uh, i think reading the newspaper and business news specifically will help you a lot and be articulate actually i think i'm the only person who's been part of uh, both pgdm and pgpm selection process so uh, i initially uh, was part of the pgdm selection process and then 
I got an offer from PGDM. Uh, then I, I gave an interview in PGPM. So I've been part of both the processes. One thing I've, I mean, uh, to be very honest, the person who's taken my interview is the same person. And uh, Salman sir took my interview in both the selection processes. Uh, I would say one thing, uh, you need to have an understanding of why are you getting into, in what you're getting into. Uh, that is really important. And like Pratiksha mentioned, uh, understanding about what's happening around you. Uh, and the path you're choosing right now, uh, how well worse are you about that? And how do you think that will be beneficial for you moving forward? That understanding is really important. And it's not a go going to be a very complicated interview. If you're thinking that way, it's going to be a very simple interview. Uh, they just want to know you well as a person. Perfect. Right. That's interesting. Uh, as we wrap up, uh, we, we just wanted to hear a concluding remark. So, um, of course, there's a question, whole admission process uh, would be online or sometimes needs to appear. Uh, well, in-person interviews are also there, anonymous attendees. So once when this year's campaign will start on, on that note, uh, by the way, we have our application deadline on the 9th of December uh, that's coming up. Uh, so, so the minute you apply for both the programs, uh, you will get more clarity uh, as to what the process is going to look like. But I think uh, predominantly for all three of you, you had an online process, right? Yeah, we had an oh. online process. Perfect. So uh, let, let's just hear concluding remarks uh, from all three of you. Uh, what is the last uh, typical piece of advice would you'd like to give to the aspirants who are currently preparing um, uh, to, to just like take a, a, a leap of faith and start their management uh, education? Uh, um, so, so what is the last piece of advice that you'd like to give to all of them? So uh, I think uh, adding on to the last question, uh, our professors really encourage you to visit the campus before taking the admission. If you can, if you're in Delhi NCR, just come sit in one of their lectures and you can decide for yourself. I did that. I spoke to my program chair and the director, ma'am. And uh, that experience also gives you uh, an inside uh, feeling about where you're entering and what is the institute like. So if you can do that, please go ahead and uh, do that as well. Uh, my last thoughts on this would be if this is something you are considering, whether to join a one-year program or a two-year program, be absolutely sure about it, be dedicated, and it will pay off. It will pay off in making you a better person. It will pay off in giving you better opportunities here. Just be sure about doing this and uh, all the best for everyone who will be coming in next year. Uh, to add on to Pratiksha's point, you'll have to be more, you'll have to be clear in whatever you are choosing for the one year or the two year program. And you will, you have to go for it and you'll get a lot of exposure here. You'll get a, to build a lot of network and you'll have a lot of exposure here. So definitely go for it and wish you luck for your competitive exam if you're applying for Like Pratiksha uh, and uh, Path actually mentioned, uh, the clarity of thought is really important. Uh, you need to be clear about what you really want to do. And uh, like I've reached out to my seniors uh, when I joined the uh, soil. If you want to reach out to us, you can always do. Uh, but uh, apart from that, I, I would also mention that uh, this journey is going to be not that complicated as you might be assuming. Uh, things will fall into place. Uh, just be focused on what you're actually doing uh, for the entire journey and things will go really well. So that is the uh, message I'd like to pass to everyone who's here. I, I think that picture perfect moment was Jacob's smile. And uh, I was about to say that, that you know, that looks very convincing, but I was reminded about Pratiksha's uh, word of caution that, you know, they're the pranksters. Huh? So mm -hmm. Jacob, should I take the... <laughs> Pratiksha's <laughs> nodding her head also right now. All right. <laughs> Yes, all the three LinkedIn IDs are there. Please feel free to touch base and connect with all three of them. They're absolutely warm, welcoming when it comes to, you know, addressing those queries. And otherwise, also, there are three very beautiful individuals here on the campus that we're having across both Gurgaon and Manasar. Uh, thanks, all three of you. I know it's, it's almost Diwali knocking on the do at the door, but you you still uh, took our time over the week, in the evening. Uh, so that was really nice. You, you all are having classes tomorrow as well? Yeah, yes. I have class tomorrow. Yes. What about yeah, you, Chris, and Jacob? Tomorrow. Yeah, there are. Yeah, Jacob has an exam tomorrow, I think. Best of luck, best of luck. Uh, there's no respite, that means. All right, great. Thank you so much, uh, Pratiksha, Jacob, Parth, um, and of course, Utsav, who, whom we, of course, missed the interaction with. Thank you so much. And thanks so much, Harsha, uh, for bringing it, uh, just making sure that, you know, we, we are here for this webinar conversation together. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.
thank you nijam and i also shared utsav's id linkedin id on the in the perfect. chat box perfect perfect thank you so much thank, thank you, you so much. thank you everyone thank, thank you guys you. bye, bye.